Hello everyone, welcome back to Juno New Origins. We don't have too many space contracts to work with here, but I am intrigued by a telescope mission, so we're going to try that. I want to see how big the telescope is. I haven't launched one of these telescopes before, I don't think. So we are going to a fairly high orbit. It's a somewhat lopsided orbit, interestingly enough, too. And yeah, uh, we don't have to worry about the 180 days. That should be easy enough to do. They're not paying us a whole lot, so it really depends on how big the, satellite, uh, the telescope is. Let's pick it up and see how it goes. Hopefully they'll give me some interplanetary contracts after this. Space telescope, zero dollars. We'll just size the core for it. So it's uh, nearly five tons. I think we'll have a little orbital bus stage because we need to get it to a high orbit. So we'll have something dedicated for that purpose. And it'll have some battery, no gyros still, we'll go continue going with that limitation. But we'll definitely have RCS, and it'll work this time. Let's have two engines, and fuel tanks. Somebody suggested for spherical fuel tanks to add a cylindrical one and then two hemispheres to the side of it, but then you end up with a pill. And I don't want a pill, I wanted a sphere. If we can't get a sphere, I'll just do a cylinder. The uh, pills and pills and spheres are not the same thing. Okay, that basically looks like what I want. So we will add an interstage. If I can. Alright. Nice big fairing. And it all looks like a Titan 3, doesn't it? <laughs> sort of looks like that. We have gas generator 2 now. Which, I guess, has a higher chamber pressure. Less gimbling, though, but it is the upper stage, so that's probably alright. Omega would sort of fit the LR-91 sort of look the best, I suppose, if we're going for a Titan III sort of thing. I guess we might as well. Maybe it's about time I used SRBs for once. I like more gimbal range, so we'll stick to gas generator, gas generator 1 here. Yeah, I'm feeling like the skirt might be a little bit too much here. Let's see, nozzle. Yeah, but that doesn't fit the bill either. Uh, it sort of has a skirt, but that skirt is really getting close to the core engines there. That starting thrust weight ratio is rather huge. Um, Nozzle throat size. I guess we can dump that. Um, we need it to fit, sort of, but maybe I can tuck it in a bit. The diameter of these tanks are supposed to be the same as the core for a Titan III. Staging of a Titan III is interesting. We'll light the core first and then separate the boosters. Stage 2. I guess it's not reading that right right now. Oh, well, we're in surface mode but yeah I'm pretty sure stage 2 can do better than that it's just that it's not understanding how the staging is working well we need some nose cones yeah none of these are gonna get me the shape that I want maybe I should just put a fuel tank on first fuel tanks know how to be cones okay that's better And if this is a Titan, we should probably paint the center some god-awful color. Yeah, that's basically a Titan. Okay, well, it's certainly not going to fit on the small pad, so Ollie pad it is. Seems to fit there. We need the width this time because of the boosters. Okay. Let's see if we can launch a space telescope. Okay, we've got the telescope, it says so. And throttle up, and go. Not that throttle up matters with the boosters anyway. Can they be going up? Oh, they had a long build up. Oh, you know what? It looks like these boosters don't gimbal even though they look like shuttle boosters. I guess I'll ignite the core. Oh, okay, careful. Careful. 
careful I said oh no all right well we have some problems okay well oh wait uh, the booster is done or did they actually throttle but oh well I don't think we have enough Delta V now though well see that's why you have to put a space satellite on the shuttle Okay, so like, how do I get SRVs that gimbal? Like, shuttle SRVs do. Steady, ramp down, impulse, star? I mean, I guess maybe star is basic. Uh, echo, bell, phone, delta, aerospike, echo. I guess they just don't have one that gimbals. Well, there goes any shuttle ideas. I guess we'll just try it again and just be aware of that. Let me put everything in the same stage. Okay, you throw this up. And go! And stability, please. I guess I'll do a roll if I can. Okay. Woo, heating. That's a lot of velocity we've got. But it's all in the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, one booster lasted longer than the other? I don't like that. And then one engine lasts longer than the other. I didn't ask for that kind of complexity. Okay, fairings. What the heck is our apoapsis? Well, 255, it's not as bad as I was worried about. I guess we should just coast. We'll coast to apoapsis and see what we get. So we needed... Wrong craft, no, this is the... Ah, Yeah, start tracking this instead. I mean, okay, do I have to restart? No? Okay. I was worried I had to launch it again. Maybe it's okay. Okay, that didn't quite get us all the way to orbit, but hopefully this will. With enough to spare to get us to the right orbit. Okay, well, we are in orbit. I'll just keep pushing here. We're going down still, but that's alright. We'll raise it to the target apoapsis, I think. Okay. Alright, it's happy with that. Let's go up to the apoapsis. Okay, ignition. Okay. Alright, and detach the telescope. Off it goes. Alright, so we managed the telescope contract. That was 23.3 million. I I would like to know how much the rocket cost. Uh, I didn't really take a look. 12 million. I, I guess it's not that bad. All right. But yeah, I, I wonder if we could get some gimbling nozzles. Maybe it's in the tech tree somewhere. Eh, maybe not. Anyway, uh, yeah, we haven't gotten space capsules yet. CubeSat, CubeSat, CubeSat. Gosh darn it. Refresh. Small sat telescope comsat. They definitely don't want me to go anywhere to another planet, do they? This is what I get for doing air and ground races all the time. But I feel like we need to try to go somewhere else because we need the tech points. I could probably swing a trip to Tidos. It's a little bit late. But we could just go over there. there there's this Andrews Comet. Let me see. You got any nice locations on you? Oh, very, very edgy. Very edgy. I don't see any little special locations, but maybe we'll only find out when we get there. Hmm. There is a way of calculating the right phase angle for Andrew's Comet. 
but just eyeballing it. It should be fine as long as we have overwhelming Delta V. <laughs> let's go let's go for this comet. I wanna go to the comet. Oh you know what? Let's pick up the space telescope contract, drop off the telescope and then go to the comet. And that's pretty high up anyway. So we'll carry the space telescope and then go to the comet. I think in order to do this, we're going to have liquid boosters. I mean, it's not my fault. They don't give us gimbling solid boosters, so we should have li liquid boosters. We're gonna get the core engines back in their own stage. Ah, yeah, good enough for me. Alright. Ability on. Throttle and go. Well, obviously this provides much more control over the situation. But ignition of the core. Separation of the boosters. Probably need to scale these down a bit. They I read the very low thrust weight ratio because of that too. Please tell me you're tracking this one. Alright. Okay, staging and fairings. This time this stage will carry us to orbit properly and possibly further. Now which way do we want to head out? No, actually burning right now would not be too bad, so we'll have our apoapsis on that side. Okay, staging. Okay. Yep, a little bit more. Alright, close enough. Let's go up to apoapsis. Now we have two space telescopes. All depends on how much Delta V we have after we let the space telescope go. And that I do not know right now. Okay, that's close enough. Detach the telescope. Alright, 4.2 kilometers per second is what we've got. We're already in a high orbit. We've got this sort of pedal thing going that we're carrying around with us. I don't know what kind of mass that has, but... Okay, let's see if we can do things with this. Hitting a comet is not easy. Having one of the moons get in our way is especially not good. What are we getting there? Are we- is Tiddos capturing- uh, Tiddos is interfering with us. <laughs> oh great. Uh, I wonder if we could do a Tiddos flyby plus a transfer to the comet. I mean, just going to Tiddos would be fine, right? Anyway, uh, by the way, people uh, told me that I can uh, click on... No, I don't want to plan burn there. Uh, click on stuff to target them. No, I can't, actually. Um, sometimes I just have to use this. Okay, well, let's see now. It'd be tempting to get Tiddos to fling us over there, but let's... Where is it even showing my spacecraft here? Isn't that green line my resulting orbit? Oh, there it's showing me on that. Okay, we're not crashing into Tiddos. That is a heck of an approach that should give us a lot of inclination around the sun. So I've targeted the comet. And it's showing me the closest approach info here. 97.8 thousand kilometers. But that's for Tiddos, surely. Trying to avoid Brigo here, too. I mean, Brigo could give us a boost and everything, but it just complicates matters. Well, now we've got a double Tiddos encounter. Great. Just what I wanted. Two of them. I mean, it's showing my spacecraft really close to the comet, but 
But we'll try this and then I'll try and do a mid-course adjustment to sort of flatten it out so that we're not tilted. Yeah, let's just try this first. We have 4.2 kilometers per second to do stuff with after all. This is only gonna take 685. Okay, and go. There better be good tech points because we're going for Andrew's Comet. It seems like the most difficult thing, so... We are going out. And we've got that double encounter with Tidos. Let's try and fix things up here. Yeah, I don't understand the closest approach info. I assume that that's for Tidos, because it can't be for Andrew's Comet. Really just want the one for Handra's Comet. And here it looks like we're getting really close to Handra's Comet, but um, that little ship icon is nowhere near my orbit. Well, maybe we should just pass Tidos first. Okay, well, we'll do this correction. I it, It's not really helping me figure out Handra's Comet. As long as we don't actually crash into Tidos, we're probably good for now. And we want it to keep us planar with the rest of the system. Okay. So, heading out there. There goes Drew. Okay, trash that. Let's go over there. Okay, now maybe it'll be willing to tell me about Andrew's Comet afterwards. Uh, let's not cancel that. No, oh, that's uh, too many encounters. Now it's boosting us like that. It's saying some info there. Really forcing it here. Doing a burn at Tito's periapsis. We're not even really close to Tito's. Maybe we should get close to Tito's and do a burn at Tito's periapsis instead. But again, this 734 seems pretty nice. Yeah, it costs more to do it like this, getting close to Tidos and then doing a burn, then instead just pulling away from Tidos and doing it. Tidos is not doing us any favors right now, it looks like. So technically we have a Tidos flyby, but it's a loose, loose flyby. Nope, we have an encounter there. It says, in 1.68 years, we have to be... 4.8 million kilometers away from Tidos, though, and we need to do this 876 meter per second burn, but we could probably make orbit around the comet. So we'll do it. 51 days. Actually, this burn would probably be less if we do it sooner, but let's just wait for it to maneuver now. I took all the time to plot it. Battery's a little bit low. Right. Well, hmm, that's a problem, isn't it? Uh, let's turn off that. Right, because we're so far away from the sun and everything. I should have packed more power. Can't even see which little star is actually the sun. Well, it seems like it's that one. It's pretty faint compared to some of the other stars. Okay, we we are recharging right now, so okay. Okay, we will do the burn now. Our orbital speed is only 660 and we're doing 800 meters per second because we're basically reversing things and going further. How has it been turning? Did we have a gyro on here? I had no gyros, but I don't have RCS on. It's been turning. I've been fooled because KSP2 has got me automatically thinking there's reaction wheels, but there's no reaction wheels. 
there wasn't supposed to be reaction wheels. Hmm. But we haven't used the mono propellant. Very confusing. I'll, uh, maybe I accidentally had some gyro in. Okay, it's going too far. Well, my control... I can't turn it right now. So it must have just automatically turned it during time warp or something. So I can't turn it without the RCS, but it can turn it without the RCS. We'll do a minor correction at periapsis here. Okay, that gets us an approach. Ah, uh, we lost it. Okay. Alright. Time warping. I don't even know if we're going to get close enough to Tidos to see Tidos much. Well, that's fine. The Comet is our target. How are we doing? Let me get rid of that. A little bit far. There we go. Ah, lost it again. Okay, uh... 4,000 kilometers. Time warp. <laughs> That'll stabilize it. Okay, time warping out. Should have enough to capture around it. Okay. Uh, 50 tech points for flyby. We have discovered it. Let us not be paused. Okay, a light bit of RCS in order to get to the radial in. Okay, burning. Oh, that's acting like radial out. But that one was radial in. Well, I guess the other one's radial in. Or at least what I think of as radial in. Okay, now can we go in? Alright. Well, that's close enough for now. Andrew's Comet, where are you? There you are! That's some thrust to weight ratio right there. 12,000. And I thought TT was an overgrown potato. What? what? Our orbital velocity is going up now. I was looking at the apoapsis and periapsis expecting something, but maybe... Maybe it happened so fast. Oh, now we got it. Well, I don't know. Something went wrong on the first attempt, but... Okay, we've got it there. 50 points for that. Oh, we're going that way. Well, we'll just go around. Now I have to figure out if there's any special location on it. It doesn't look like it, but we can probably land somewhere. But our mod propellant is a little bit iffy. Okay, retro. 20 kilometers. How lumpy is it? Well, not that lumpy. We could probably bring it down. I think that's just a target box. Oh, we're clipping now. Maybe we should just go for it. There's no particular location here. Landing anywhere will do. I don't even know if we need... Oh, it's rotating anyway. I don't even know if we need to slow down. Well, at this speed we do. It's pretty fast for a little guy like this. Okay, here goes nothing. Interesting scarring on the surface here. Okay, we have landed. Only 50? Oh well. Okay, we have landed on Andrew's Comet with a kilometer per second to spare. So, And we did Space Telescope with the same mission. So there we have it, the Titan III. I'm surprised we're sticking to it, actually. I guess it's bigger than I thought. Zooming out. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it. Uh, those are my space missions for this episode. We've got some tech points. Hopefully they'll give us some nice contracts, but we'll see. I can't deal with more cube sets. Anyway, we'll find out. 
with that thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time